We're at the North Carolina Museum of Art and Park that offers opportunities to play, learn, relax and explore. They are mostly accessible and free for everyone to enjoy. The experience is very different for people with disabilities. To learn more, I invited a few folks to meet me and go on a tour. This is Gibson and my neighbor Bill. They get around town using Go Raleigh Access. We're joined by Deja, Robert, and Bill's wife, Dale. Museums provide many kinds of services and accommodations that you may want to use, such as time tickets displaying on your phone. At the North Carolina Museum of Art, we work to make our buildings and our programs fully accessible for all. We provide Americans with Disabilities Act accommodations. We also offer audio description and American Sign Language tours and for other programs as well. And we always have sanitized wheelchairs and walkers that you're able to check out. You can always check our website or feel free to give us a call and we can tell you what's available. The docent guided tours help navigate the museum's open spaces and thoughtful placement of art and signage make the words accessible for everyone. When it comes to the placement of the wording, I prefer it to be in the, either the bottom or the middle of the piece of art so I can read what's going on with the, with the exhibit. In that case, I can experience the museum just like everyone else and knowing what I'm reading and what I'm seeing. Gibson has been trained to get me from point to point safely. I set the uh, direction and Gibson makes sure I get there safely, avoiding obstacles and any other hazards like automobiles. When a service animal is working, it's very important that the attention be on the handler. And because if a person distracts a service dog, the dog will not be able to concentrate on his job of keeping the team safe. To make the museum and park accessible for all, the museum contracts with the experts at Arts Access. Arts Access is a North Carolina nonprofit that works to make arts and cultural events and venues accessible to people with disabilities. One in four North Carolinians lives with a disability or physical challenge or barrier. And museums and galleries and theaters all across the state are thinking about this and trying to be more welcoming and accessible for these visitors. Audio description of works of art are found on the museum's website and anyone can listen discreetly using their phone or device and earbuds, hearing aids and headphones. For this work, Richards cast his own body, outfitted the resin sculpture in a uniform of Tuskegee Airmen and painted the figure gold. When I hear audio description, uh, I have a sense that I'm connecting with the broader world through uh, movies and uh, through plays or through having uh, paintings described here at the Museum of Art. What it does for me is help me to participate in the world of art just like anyone else. And so when I touch a, a uh, sculpture, my hands become my eyes so I can actually feel the sculpture. I can have a better sense of the detail of a sculpture whereby uh, persons that have normal vision, they can get that detail with their eyes. When I put my touch and vision together, then it makes it uh, uh, more appreciated. The paths and outdoor entertainment areas are carefully planned and take mobility into account okay. to make everything accessible as possible. Well, I go a lot of places as a wheelchair user, and a lot of places aren't handicap accessible or accessible for many venues and places. So when you come to a space that actually is accessible, it's actually really good. So but it's important because we're a paying customer like everyone else. So we bought the same ticket. We want to experience the same scene. Well, I help encourage uh, persons who are disabled to get out here in the world and, and experience the world within yourself and experience the broader world through art. It's beautiful, and I love for more of them to have the beautiful experience of art. Arts Access provides a statewide platform relating to arts and disability. To find out more, visit artsaccess.org. The North Carolina Lions provide information and assistance to the visually impaired. Find out more at nclionsinc.org.